Welcome to German Grammar Videos. Thank you for watching. This presentation will examine German adjectives with no endings, weak endings, and strong endings. The presentation will first introduce the concept of predicate and attributive adjectives in English before moving over to an examination of these forms in German. We will see that predicate adjectives in German do not take an ending, but attributive adjectives may take both strong and weak endings. After examining how weak adjective endings can be used after definite articles, we will then look at how strong and weak adjective endings can be used together in combination with ein and der words. Finally, we will examine how strong adjective endings are used with no preceding ein or der words. As we will not be going over der and ein words in this presentation, you may want to consult your textbook or conduct a web search to find out more about this topic. Let's get started. Adjectives are words that describe or modify another person or thing in a sentence. In the sentence you see on the screen, the university is small. The adjective, small, describes the size of the university, which is the subject of the sentence. As the adjective comes after the linking verb is, this adjective is a predicate adjective. German also has predicate adjectives. The sentence you see on the screen is a translation of the English sentence in the prior slide. As the adjective klein appears after the linking verb, it is a predicate adjective modifying the subject of the sentence, die Universität. It is important to note that predicate adjectives in German do not take any adjective endings. Attributive adjectives are different than predicate adjectives in that they appear before the noun they modify. In this slide, the attributive adjective small is placed between the noun university and the definite article the. German also has attributive adjectives. Unlike predicate adjectives, however, attributive adjectives require strong or weak endings. As we will see in the coming slides, these endings are determined, one, by whether the adjective is preceded by an ein word a dare word or nothing at all, and two, by the case, gender, and number of the noun that the adjective modifies. It is usually quite logical to determine the ending of an attributive adjective, although you may have to memorize a few charts. Let's take a closer look at the sentence from the previous slide. When working with adjective endings, it is important to read the sentence for grammatical clues. These clues will tell you which endings to use. I can see that universität may be a singular noun as no plural endings are displayed. The verb ist, a third person singular form of the verb sein, to be, confirms my suspicion that the noun is indeed in its singular form. Since the nominative case is always used after forms of sein, I can assume that universität is the subject of the sentence and that the definite article D refers to a feminine singular noun in the nominative case. Since all endings for attributive adjectives coming after definite articles will be weak, I need to find a feminine weak nominative ending to use in the sentence. I can now consult a chart for weak adjective endings to find the appropriate ending, which is E. You will note on the screen that weak adjective endings are either e or en and follow very predictable patterns, which here are color-coded. Although you may at first have to consult your chart every time to determine the appropriate ending, repeated practice will increase your competence to the point that choosing the correct ending becomes second nature. The main thing is to be patient with yourself and not give up. Once we have determined the correct weak adjective ending, we simply add it on to each and every attributive adjective coming after the definite article and preceding the noun. Wo ist die kleine Universität? Where is the small university? Let's take a look at a slightly different sentence. Ich lerne Deutsch mit der klug Studenten. I learn German with the smart female student. As with the sentence in the prior slide, I am provided with a definite article, der. 
The dative preposition mit, however, signals that the definite article, attributive adjective, and noun are all part of a dative prepositional phrase. The definite article der, therefore, cannot be a masculine nominative singular form, but rather must be a feminine dative singular form. As we have seen before, all the endings for attributive adjectives appearing after the definite article will be weak. I can consult a chart for weak adjective endings to find the appropriate ending for the feminine dative singular, which is en. With repeated practice, you will eventually memorize these endings and will no longer need to reference a chart. Once we have determined the correct weak adjective ending, we simply add it onto each and every attributive adjective coming after the definite article and preceding the noun. Ich lerne Deutsch mit der klugen Studenten. I learn German with the smart female student. Let's now take a look at adjective endings after ein words. Some problems emerge when using masculine and neuter ein words in the nominative. You will recall from your prior studies that these ein words do not take an ending. As you see in the sentence on the screen, das ist ein klein student, that is a small male student, there is no ending after ein. The third person singular verb ist helps me determine that the noun will be in the nominative case and is singular, but I may have problems if I do not know the gender of the noun I am working with. Is it masculine? Is it neuter? Since the ein word gives me no useful information as to case and gender, the ending of the attributive adjective needs to do so. This is what strong endings do. In this instance, you may need to look up the gender of the noun student, which is masculine, if you do not already know it. Once I determine the gender of the noun, I use the information I already know about case about the case and number of the noun to find the appropriate strong adjective ending for masculine nominative singular, which is er. Once we have determined the correct strong adjective ending, we simply add it on to each and every attributive adjective coming after the indefinite article and preceding the noun. Das ist ein kleiner Student, that is a small male student. To summarize, Strong adjective endings provide me with more information about the number, gender, and case of the nouns they modify than weak endings. Let's now take a look at how strong and weak endings work together. Since strong endings tell us as much as they can about the number, gender, and case of the nouns they modify, any other adjective endings coming thereafter can be weak. For the sentence you see here, Ich lerne mit ein klug Studenten. I learn with a smart female student. I will need both strong and weak adjective endings. Let's handle the strong ending first. Since Studenten is a singular feminine noun, and since mit is a dative preposition, I will need a strong adjective ending for a singular feminine noun in the dative case. Looking at a chart for strong adjective ending shows me that a strong adjective ending for a singular feminine noun in the dative case is ER. Now that I have one strong adjective ending modifying the noun, all the other adjectives thereafter will have weak endings. Looking at a chart for weak adjective endings shows me that a weak adjective ending for a singular feminine noun in the dative case is en. As I've mentioned before, learning these endings takes time but can be done. The main thing is to be patient with yourself and not give up. As you can see in the final sentence, all the adjective endings work together to show that the noun they modify is a singular feminine noun in the dative case. Although the prior slides have used primarily ein words to show how weak and, ad and strong adjective endings work together, the same pattern also holds for der words, such as dieser, this. Der words are so called as they act like and take the similar endings as definite articles. Here you can see how a strong adjective ending will be followed by weak adjective endings. 
Finally, there is the question of what to do when the noun is not preceded by any der or ein words. In the sentence you see on the screen, ich lese lang Bücher, I read long books, nothing tells me about the case of the noun, its gender, or its number. The ending that will be added to the lone adjective in the sentence, therefore, will need to be strong. Since the noun will be the direct object of the first person singular verb lese, read, and the noun Bücher is plural, I will need to find a strong adjective ending for a plural noun in the accusative case. Looking at a chart for strong adjective endings shows me that a strong adjective ending for a plural noun in the accusative case is e. Adding this ending to the adjective produces, produces the sentence you see on the screen. It is important to note that all adjective endings in a series that is not preceded by a der or ein word will be the same. As you can see on this slide, a strong adjective ending is also applied to the following adjective gut, good. And that concludes this presentation on German adjectives with no endings, weak endings, and strong endings. Although perhaps difficult at times, there is a logical pattern that can be memorized and consistently applied. The main thing is not to give up and to keep practicing. The German Grammar video series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The videos, scripts, and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.